Hey guys, it's Justin here. So I recently had a bit of a smile makeover, if you can tell. And when I was doing some research, I found that there are a lot of videos around that talked about people's experiences and some of them were just full of crap. <laughs> They went for about 20 minutes, which is great if you've got time to sit there and watch that sort of stuff. I just wanted to see lots of before and after pictures. I wanted someone to talk about their experience, how they found it, what they should and shouldn't do, how they were afterwards, what they thought about their teeth now that they've had them done. Did they regret it? Did they want to change something? And I was furiously researching it and decided that I needed to put together a video that was like some of the good ones out there and you people know who you are. There were some really good tips that people gave that I took. One of them being, if you're gonna have your veneers done, I tell you this, you usually have two sittings, a four hour appointment and a two hour appointment. Make sure you put lip balm on the entire day before your appointment because your mouth is open for so long, your lips get so dry. I saw that in another video and I did it and I was fine, didn't have any problems at all. Also too, another person said that stuff gets trapped in your veneers and I was like, ew, what? True, you've got to floss all the time. You have to floss your teeth normally, but little things like that. So this video is all about what I learned in getting my veneers done. Let's start at the beginning. What I really wanted was a Hollywood smile. My brief to the dentist was white, straight, masculine, and Hollywood. He pretty much said that he felt that was what he had in mind as well, so there were no surprises, but probably the color was the thing that surprised him the most. I wanted really white because I think if you're gonna have your teeth done, why would you not have them as white as you can possibly get them? I'm talking to a lot of people in the lead up to having my teeth done, some people were like, don't go the whitest shade, go a couple of shades less. Other people have said to me, go for the same color as the whites of your eyes because then they match. But really, I was like, I just want them to be as white as possible. I had a little bit of overlapping with my teeth as well, just the tiniest bit. But what it used to do is if the light hit my teeth in an unusual kind of way, it used to create shadowing. And then even though I would look in the mirror and go, my teeth look nice and straight, then I'd look at some photos and stuff and I'd be like, why do they look all bunchy and kind of like not straight at all? And apparently it's because of the shadowing. So when you have a tooth that overlaps another one, it casts a shadow on that tooth and then makes them look like they're kind of a little bit more crowded than what they were. So I wanted my teeth to be nice and straight on the outside so no matter what light hit them, they looked perfectly straight. So there was the colour, the straightness and then the shape as well. So in this research, you'll probably do looking for your, you know, the teeth that you want to get you'll find there are so many different shapes. You can have square, you can have rounded. Guys apparently have more square teeth, it's a more masculine look. Women have rounded teeth. I wanted a very masculine kind of look. Um, I'd seen a lot of photos of some celebrities and some people that I knew that had had them done and that was exactly what I wanted. So in my opinion to you is to always have pictures of what you want because I took those pictures in with me and it was easier for me to just show the pictures to the dentist and say, well, this is what I want, and I, but I don't want it like that, but I do want it like this, because there were also some people who I didn't want it like as well. Won't name names. When you're thinking about where you want to go, my suggestion is, if you already go and see a dentist, if you're really good and you go and have regular checkups like you should, talk to them about it first. Tell them what you want, tell them what your concerns are. Don't be talked out of what you want though, I think that's really important. If you have a firm idea in your mind that you want something in particular, go ahead with it. Like, they're your teeth, you're the person that has to live with them. So speak to your dentist first. If not, the company that I went through, Cosmeti Tour, they booked the dentist, they organized my consultation, they organized my quote, they organized my accommodation. So if you're kind of like me and you're a little bit lazy and you want someone to organize all of that for you, that might be the way to go. I'd also speak to other people who've had it done as well. So when I was researching, you know, I would all of a sudden start noticing people who'd had their teeth done and I'd say to them, oh, where did you go? And then they would tell me about their experience and they'd always have positive and negatives to say about what had happened to them. You know, whether they were happy with the color that they got or the shape that they got, and they would always recommend a dentist to me. So I feel like that's a really good place to start. And then once you've done all your research and you've kind of got a few options, it will help you make a decision as to what you really want and what best fits the bill so that you get the outcome that you're after. 
Some people are so funny about talking about how much it costs to get your teeth done. I'm not going to be because this is why I'm creating this video for you guys so that you can go through the journey with me and the experience and you know find out how much it costs. Three years ago when I had some composite veneers put on my two front teeth because when I was younger I hit one of my big teeth on the bottom of a pool, snapped it clean in half, I had to have a cap put on it, was never really happy with that cap, it had a dark line through it, so I went to the dentist and they had two composite veneers and a zoom whitening and it fixed the problem for the time being because I was quoted $20,000 to have veneers done and that was about three years ago. Now, the quote that I got through Cosmetitool was between five and 6,000, so considerably less. It may be different for you because you might need more extensive dental work done or you may not need eight veneers and a whitening like I did. You, your, most of your teeth might be in great shape and you may only need a couple that are done, so obviously it's gonna be a lot less. But a standard package with the guys that I went through is around five, five and a half, six thousand dollars. Pretty affordable considering three years ago I was told twenty thousand dollars, but the technology has changed a lot and they really have it down to a fine art. Finally, after, am I happy with what I got? Absolutely. I did do another video with some before and after pictures and a little bit more of the process. You can actually check that out if you want to. But I'm so overwhelmingly pleased with my result. You can see they are nice and white, they are straight, they are square and masculine. They're everything that I told you guys that I wanted. I'm very, very happy with the end result. If there is anything that you'd like to know, if you have any other questions that I haven't answered in this video today, just leave me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if you did like this video and you wanna see more stuff like this from me, give it a big thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, bye. So at the moment I have a whiter, kind of rougher version of my own teeth on at the moment. I have these on for a couple of days and then I'll go back and have my new veneers put on which are being made as we speak. They'll be slightly different shape, they'll be the right color.